Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do a problem on the joint PDF of random variables X and Y. So in this problem, this is actually problem 5.4.3, the end of the chapter problems for chapter 5. Uh, what we have in this problem, we have the joint PDF of X and Y. So it is given as FXY of X and Y is equal to 6 e to the negative 2x plus 3y when x is positive greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise and we have different um, sections to this problem so the first part is asking for the probability of when x is greater than y so first we want to find this probability. So what we have over here is that we know that our x is always greater than y. We want to find this probability, right? So I know that for finding the probability of a joint random variable, I have to take the double integral of the PDF. So that will be double integral of 6e to the negative 2x plus 3y dy dx. So what I have to do here and what is important here is to find the limits of x and y, right? So I know that my x is always between 0 and infinity, right? Because x is greater than or equal to 0. Now the conditions of this probability is telling me that my y is always less than x, right? So when y is always less than x and we know that y is starting from 0 to infinity, so y will be from 0 to x. Why is that? Because I know that always y is less than x that we have over here. Now for taking this integral, we know that we have to take the inner integral first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all bring 6 out of the integral. This is the constant coefficient. So we have from 0 to infinity. I have from 0 to x of this is e to the negative 2x multiplied by e to the negative 3x, then dy, oh, 3y, then dy dx, right? So when I am taking the integral with respect to dy, with respect to y, I know that wherever I have x, it is not a variable, right? So it is considered as a constant when I'm doing the integral of dy, right? So I'm going to take that out too. So then I'm going to have 6 integral from 0 to infinity, just be careful that e to the negative 2x will come out from the first integral. It cannot go out of the second integral because the second int integral is according to dx. So x is varying there. So I'm going to have integral of e to the negative 3y dy. And if I just take the put the parentheses here, I'm going to have dx over here. All right. So here I'm going to have um, 6 integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative 2x. Now let's take the integral inside. So we have e to the negative 3y dy. We know that that is equal to minus 1 over 3 e to the negative 3y from 0 to x and dx for the external integral. So here, inside this bracket, I'm going to have minus 1 over 3 e to the negative 3x, right? Minus e to the 0. That is equal to 1. So I'm going to add them. So I will take that minus 1 over 3 outside of the integral, and I'm going to multiply it by 6. So I'm going to have minus 2 integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative 5x because I multiply e to the negative 2x by e to the negative um, 3x and this will be plus or I took the minus out so here I'm going to have negative e to the negative 2x dx right? All right, so I'm going to take this integral. 
So we're going to have minus 2. Don't forget about the 2 that you brought it out. It's minus 1 over 5e e to the negative 5x plus 1 over 2e e to the negative 2x from 0 to infinity. And that will be end up to be 3 over 5. So this is the probability that x is greater than y. Okay. So the next part of this question is asking for the probability of x plus y less than or equal to 1. So these limits that you have for x and y are helping you to find the limits for your double integrals. Okay? So what I'm going to do over here, so since I have a relationship between x and y that are my limits, I'm going to go ahead and draw x plus y less than or equal to 1, okay? So if I have 1 over here and 1 over here, and this is y, this is x, so I know that the inner side of this triangle will be my, the region that x plus y is um, less than 1. So let me redraw this line. Okay should be a straight line actually. So inside here, I'm going to have x plus y less than or equal to 1. So now I do have the regions of my integral, right? So I will go ahead and write the double integral. So I will have probability of x plus y less than or equal to 1 is going to be equal to double integral of 6e to the negative 2x plus 3y dy dx. So what I'm going to do here again, I have to find the limits of the integral. So x is varying from 0 to 1, right? Now how can I find the limits of y with respect to x's that are varying from 0 to 1? So let's say that x's are varying in this region, right? From 0 to 1 actually. So let's see, let's say that I define my x to be here. So it means that I have to, if I go up here, the y corresponding to this x, if you see here, is equal to 1 minus x. Why is that? Because this line over here is the line y equal to 1 minus x, right? So if I find an x, and I go up to this point at this uh, point of the graph, and I find the corresponding y to that x, that y is equal to 1 minus x, right? So I can see that I have to integrate over this bar. If I have my x over here, then I have to integrate over this bar, right? So these are the bars that I have to integrate, and you can see that Wherever my x is, my y will vary from 0 to 1 minus x. All right? So I'm going to take this integral. So first, we know that we have to take the inner integral. So this integral of probability of x plus y less than or equal to 1 is going to be equal to integral from 0 to 1, 2 to the 2e to the negative 2x. We're going to have negative e to the negative 3y. Now from 0 to 1 minus x dx. And that is going to be equal to the integral of 0 from 0 to 1 of 2 e to the negative 2x. 1 minus e to the negative 3, 1 minus x dx. So what I'm doing here, I just substitute for y here and I substitute 0 and 1 minus x in order to find um, the result and now I'm going to integrate over um, x's so then I'm going to end up with negative e to the negative 2x minus 2e 
x minus 3 and x is varying from 0 to 1. So that will give me 1 plus 2e to the negative 3 minus 3e to the negative 2. So what happens here for finding this integral? So let me number them. This is number 1. This is the second one. Okay, for finding this integral, you saw that there, there, there is a relationship between x and y. So if we have some x's, if we define an x, if we, um, like say, choose an x, then we have a corresponding y with respect to that x that we have chosen, right? And how are we finding that y? We are finding that y with respect to the relationship between x and y that I have right so that's where i brought that one minus x from okay all right now let's find the third part of this question the third part of this question asks for the probability of the minimum of x and y greater than or equal to one so see all of these um uh, regions of the, the actually regions of integration that we have they are coming from the relationship between x and y okay so now here we are saying that we want the minimum of x and y to be greater than or equal to one when we are saying that minimum of two numbers should be greater than another number it means that minimum of both of them right it's it's going to be the minimum of both of them should be greater than or equal to one when we are saying that the minimum of two numbers or two variables should be greater than or equal to a specific number, it means that each of those variables should be greater than or equal to that number, right? So we can say that this is actually equal to the probability of x being greater than or equal to 1 and y being greater than or equal to 1. Because if I want the minimum of them to be greater than or equal to 1, it means that both of them should be greater than or equal to 1, right? So now I can write this as a double integral from 1 to infinity, 1 to infinity of 6e to the negative 2x plus 3y dy dx. And this is an easy integral, so we're going to end up with e to the negative 5. Now, why am I having from 1 to infinity? Because first of all, in the original joint PDF, we saw that x and y are both from 0 to infinity, are uh, varying from 0 to infinity. Now here, because of the special conditions that we have for this problem, it says that the minimum of x and y should be greater than or equal to 1, right? So the part from 0 to 1 will go out because we don't want the minimum to go less than 1, right? So that's why we have from 1 to infinity. And the last part of this question, which is somehow similar to this part, is that the probability of this time maximum of x and y should be less than or equal to 1. So we know that this probability is equal to the probability of x less than or equal to 1 and y less than or equal to 1. Because when the maximum of two variables, two numbers, is greater than or equal to some, is less than or equal to some number, then both of those numbers should be for sure less than or equal to that number, right? So that would be equal to from 0 to 1 because x and y are both starting from 0 in the original joint PDF and goes to infinity. Now we want to limit them to 1. So it's from 0 to 1 for both of them. And we're going to have 6e to the negative 2x plus 3y dy dx. And that would be 1 minus e to the negative 2, 1 minus e to the negative 3. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, especially about the limits of integration and how we got the integrals, you can leave them in the comments down below or any general question that you have, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.